So hey guys, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're going to be talking about Jada and Lil Baby breaking up. So I was going to talk about this initially when they first broke up, but then I told myself no, because I said I was done talking about this the last time I made a video praising her for leaving him. But then I felt like this situation was a little bit different than before. So as we all know, Jada Cheeves and Lil Baby have broken up for the umpteenth time. They have been in a relationship for the past six years and it has been nothing less of tumultuous, scandalous, and supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Back in the fall of 2021, they were not together. Jada was talking about how she and him were friends, they co-parent, and they still support one another. And I think we all knew that was codenamed for we still get it in on the low, but I'm not putting a public title on it because I'm hesitant to be embarrassed for the 50th, 11th time, which was absolutely correct. Soon after, earlier this year, we see Lil Baby and Jada publicly out together in Paris for Fashion Week. And a lot of people People were here for it despite what recently took place. I saw a lot of bird brain people on the internet telling others to mind their business and praising Jada for getting back with her man and I saw right past that bullshit. It wasn't maybe a week or two after the Paris pictures hit the internet that they decided to break up again and according to Jada this was the final time. Lil Baby took to his Instagram story to say when MFs think they could play with you and he started dancing around like a chicken with his head cut off on a basketball court and just clowning and being goofy and Jada took that as a subliminal post and responded back and said think they could play with you lmfao you play with me for six years straight i text the naker back and now your chest hurt bye honey i felt you sis anyway she then proceeded to post different messages insinuating that she was done there was even a little internet hiccup where people thought her and little baby were back together because they were wearing the same shoes and she shot that down i say all of this to say that i swear i will never speak on this relationship again because the last time i gave her praise for leaving she went right back but the difference this time around is this is now motivated by actually realizing that she doesn't deserve the disrespect that she has been put in all of these years and i want to get into the reason why i feel like they broke up so let's get right into this video so my first and only talking point is jada and Lil baby actually broke up because jada's position was publicly threatened and in this battle for who has Lil baby like nobody else she eventually realized that she lost even though she wanted to end and i don't say that to put her down because out of all of the social media joints jada Jada is honestly the only one that I actually like for real and seems to be a good person with a good head on her shoulders for the most part. Of course, she makes stupid decisions as it relates to her child's father, but a lot of us young 20-somethings do. I mean, I'm 24 just like Jada. We're the same age. I can't act like I haven't done the same BS that she has done. What I will say is I've never been with somebody as rich and as known as Lil Baby, so I can't really imagine the different type of pressure or embarrassment or desire to maintain this image that there must be because they low-key but high-key are hip-hop royalty. I mean, they haven't been in the game for that long, but when you think about modern hip-hop and who's owning it, Lil Baby is at the top for the new school, and Jada has been with him since before he even started rapping. So, I give respect to the fact that they are very well-known and have a lot of social accolades tied to their image. So, back to why I feel why they really broke up. I remember late last year, people were tagging Jada in some form of post to let her know that Lil Baby was doing this and that, and Jada finally came out and said, we aren't together at the moment and they were just co-parenting and you know he's my friend and that's just what we're on. People still came for her because they said that she shouldn't be giving him access but I actually believe that you can be friends with your ex especially when you have a child involved as long as there's boundaries and as long as there's amicable peace for all of the right reasons. Fast forward to when rumors started speculating that Saweetie and Lil Baby were going on a shopping date and allegedly hooking up. It was up until this moment where Jada was so above it, she was single, they were just friends, she wasn't bothered and then a few months later we ended up seeing both of them in Paris for fashion week and basically she told us to mind our business but I also found it funny that the same Johns on the internet told everybody to mind their business when it came to Jada and Lil Baby being together in Paris just for them to break up for good two weeks later like LMFAO yeah see that's why you can always say what you want to say don't let people on the internet tell you to mind their business when their business is public anyway for me the Saweetie situation was the copy in the relationship dynamics because for the first time ever, Jada publicly saw her position being threatened. And I mean by somebody who can actually take her place and have the same, if not bigger, appeal to their social status in the eyes of the public. And I hate to say it like that, but let's be real. Saweetie was Jada's first big threat. From day one, any woman that Lil Baby cheated on her with, in her opinion, and probably in the opinion of the general public who cares, said individuals were considered low-tier individuals. Not because she said that, but if we're being 
being real in comparison to Jada Weta, those girls were probably strippers, dancers, obsessed fans, some random pretty girls outside of Atlanta, the average girls in Atlanta with big booties and cute faces, etc, etc. And trust me, I know stuff. But it wasn't until somebody like Saweetie, who has a big name, fame, a big bag, probably even bigger than Jada's, she has more business and career success than Jada from what we see, that she finally felt like, wow, this man got with someone who could potentially make me look like the underdog. And in my opinion, that's when all boundaries went completely out the window. She got over being mad at him or being upset or not wanting to be in a relationship and she got right back with him. And from what I understand with people with children, they always get back together. I don't know. I refuse to ever be a baby mama and I refuse to have a child by somebody who isn't my husband. So I can't really relate, but I understand going back to your ex. I truly do. I also have a lot of friends who always go back to their baby daddies after complaining about them, after he cheats with other girls, after they embarrass the hell out of them. It is what it is. And Jada, no matter her riches, her fame, her beauty, her materialistic items, she is not exempt from this whatsoever. People praise relationship goals and wanting to be this big internet couple and this envied hip hop couple, even though your regular relationship is probably dealing with the same BS just 20 times more privately, which is truly a benefit in the long run. So when that picture of Saweetie sitting on Lil Baby's lap started to circulate, woman to woman, I know she felt threatened and she went and got back to her role. And it's sad because Lil Baby had her on one end and then I guess had Saweetie on the other and people could at least presumably see that another woman had access to him even if it was for a short period of time. And that made Jada look really bad and it also made Saweetie look bad as well. And Lil Baby sat there scotch free. I feel like Jada shouldn't have fallen for that fluke because men will try to play you with somebody who they know that you may think is better than you in any way shape or form but deep down inside they know that you are better than that person and that's all that was a game to make Jada take him back I mean honestly Lil Baby and Saweetie would actually be a cute couple but it still just doesn't hit like it just doesn't jive and it made both Saweetie and Jada kind of look like disposable women because he is not with either one of them today what I took away from this as well is that women can't win a man's game when it comes to this Jada stated that he had been playing with her for six years and counting and the first time she decided to text somebody back, Lil Baby was heartbroken. And that's the funniest thing about this. Men cannot dish what they put out. Literally, as soon as you do a man how they do you, they really fall apart. That's why I don't understand why men think they're stronger than women. I mean, I think men are only physically stronger, but emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, communicatively smarter or stronger than women, I just don't see it. Because as soon as they get that heat that they've also fired off, now they're looking for the nearest extinguisher. And Jada did exactly that. Texted somebody back and tried to move on. But like I said, as a woman, we cannot win a man's game. People also drag Jada for making this information public because it shows the value little baby has for himself versus the lack thereof Jada has for herself. She was willing to put up with the nonsense for six plus years, but all it took was a text back for little baby to break up with her. And now she gets labeled as disloyal, a hoe, and all of that, even though she isn't the one who ruined their relationship. And as wrong as it is in a man's head, this makes sense to them. But I kind of agree that this shows how how much Jada undervalued herself. The best way to make a man really hurt is to say nothing, just get the hell on and say nothing. The back and forth, the petty games, and trying to do what he does, it doesn't work. We don't win, ladies. Usually a man will reel you back in with gifts and lovey-dovey messages and all of these different ways of getting back in good standing with a girl that they hurt, embarrassed, or disrespected. And it's easy for women, in this case Jada, to fall for that because of the pressures that come with having what is seen as a socially acceptable man. They say women have more options which may be true and they say men take what they can get which also may be true and that's why women have to learn how to really leave if you're going to leave a lot of us have taken back a cheater but did a whole bunch of dramatic and false exits in the process of leaving somebody that we got right back with but if we acknowledge that women have more options than men and always keep that rhetoric in our head then you know you can leave somebody and still find a good guy because your options are there but when you're Jada and you've been with somebody who is that much of a top dog I mean it's kind of impossible to get another little baby only if that's what she wants so she's been swept away by the sweet nothings that have amounted to nothing there were rumors that jada was texting bow wow i never believed that i thought that was horse shit and then it came out that she was texting stefan diggs who is an nfl player who was at the same club with her a year ago and was flirting with her in the club y'all remember when he was talking about some why are you being weird to me that's the man now i do think he is a good little come up only if we're talking about her maintaining the image and the lifestyle that she's accustomed to i mean he's not broke he's a very well-known nfl player He's a good NFL player, and that's pretty much the pros. Now, he does have a lot of cons from what I read on the blogs, but I don't think Jada is looking for anything serious. I mean, 
mean, she just gave six plus years of her life and a child to a man who isn't going to marry her. And she's still young and relevant and hot enough to explore the options that a lot of women have, but don't always utilize and find what works for her. What I do want to tell Jada is don't ever think that you are not that bitch because as well known and as rich and as famous as Lil Baby is, being a playboy gets played out. And a lot of these rappers try to make it seem like they love this lifestyle and they will just forever be this way. And soon they will be really lonely, ran through, and women their age will have moved on with men who are ready to settle down. I think both of these individuals should really break up this time and explore being happy in their singleness because there's a lot you learn when you choose to date yourself. Jada can channel all of her desire to find somebody that may be just as rich as Lil Baby, but maybe not as known. I mean, Atlanta is a very rich city for Black people, and she may not think so now, but you'll get your happily ever after. As for Lil Baby, he's gonna continue to do what he does, and he'll get tired of that and realize that he probably missed out on the right one exploring all of the wrong people. He's been given many chances, and it doesn't seem like he cares to do anything different than what he's been doing, and it shouldn't be at the expense of Jada's respect, her self-esteem, her desired family structure, and her self-love. We'll just have to see what happens with them in the future. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know your commentary on my commentary down below. What do you think? What do you know? Let me know. Make sure you guys stream my song Ballin'. It is out on all platforms. I will link it down below for you guys to go check out my song and watch the video. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. One time for the melanin girls and poppin' in the sun. Let me hear you one time. Baby, let me hear you one time. Yeah, 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 yeah. One time for the African girls and you know we get it done. Let me hear you one time. Ladies, let me hear you one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One shot, two shot, come on, baby, come on. Put your hands to the top, come on, ladies, come on. Skin poppin' in the sun, come on, baby, come on.